Hey, what's going on everybody? This episode, there's a couple things I wanted to talk to you about. Actually, first thing, hope you like the red shirt. I thought I'd switch it up from green. And back to what we were talking about, we're gonna be talking about event handling and methods. All right, so if you have no prior programming experience, this video might be a little bit much, but I do have videos on Java methods if you want a little bit more substance, a little bit more practice with that. So let's first talk about method, methods briefly, ugh, can't talk briefly, and then we'll go back, circle around, and talk about event handling. All right, so what is a method? Well, let's say we have, I'm gonna show you what a method is by making one. Let's say we want some code that'll toggle something, and let's say we have a button. And let's say we wanna to toggle the color, like, you know, from green to, to red, and then back to green. Well, we can make a method to do that for us. So a method is just a section of code that we can execute over and over and over again. So it basically makes our life easier. Rather than taking that code and copying and pasting it every time something happens, all we have to do is execute this toggle method. And when you make a method, it's gonna look something like this. Public void, the name of it, some parentheses, and then some curly braces. And this is where the code goes. All right, so the void here, if you think of a method as this black box where, or I guess a white box, but it's here, there we go. Now it's a white box, completely white box. All right, so this has some input and this potentially has some output. So the in goes here. The out, well you, def you say if there's going to be some output by, by putting something here. When you say void, you're saying there's no output. So this void here means no output. Meaning it's not going to like calculate something and give you back a number, it's just going to do it. So when you say something, when you say, hey, toggle, it's going to change it from green to red and then it's done. It doesn't give you back a message saying, hey, the toggling was a success, or it changed to green, or it changed to red. It doesn't do anything like that. It just does its task, and it's done. So that's what the void means. It means no output. All right, so the input here, this is what's known as parameters, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit more in the context. Okay, sorry, I can't talk and write at the same time. Parameters, I can't spell. We're gonna talk a little bit more about parameters in the context of event handling in the next episode. And then the following episode, we're gonna get hands-on with the event handling. So check out those two episodes. So you got the basics of methods. Now you just gotta figure out the code to actually toggle, which we'll be talking about some tricks and stuff you can do later on in the series. But that's not the point of this episode. We're just talking about methods here. So when it comes to events, what is that? Well, let's say we have this button here. Okay, and what do you do with buttons? That's right, you click them. Especially if they're big and red and say, do not click or do not press, then you definitely have to press it. So you click this button. Now what? Well, if we want it to actually do something, we need to create an event handler, which is just the method. So in the attributes of this button, there's a special one called on click. And we can assign it the value, the name of a method. So for example, toggle. And inside of the XML, it's gonna look a little something like this. And again, XML is not my specialty. So probably something like this. Uh, button, and then like Android, colon on click. And then that's going to be assigned a value, toggle. Like so, blah, blah, a bunch of other stuff, and the button. So that's what it's gonna look like inside the XML. We've seen that in the previous episodes, what the XML looks like. You go into, into the, the little editor thing, and then you click uh, view the, yeah, you go watch the other videos. So that is how you would do that. And then anytime you click this button, this method is going to be executed, which we just showed you guys how to create that. So that's going to be in the code portion for your activity. So maybe it's main activity.java. Whatever it is, it's going to have a .java extension. 
that's where the code goes. So we're gonna be doing that in the upcoming episodes, but the, the one thing I wanted to make sure you guys knew is that when we're doing this with on click, this is real easy. We just, we just set the attribute to toggle or whatever we want the method to be named. We define the method and we're good to go. But there's other events out there that we could create event listeners for and it's a little bit more complicated. On click is special. You don't have to do anything too crazy. You can just do it in the attributes. So don't worry about that for now. We're going to start with on click and then later on we'll talk about some of the other events we can listen for. So hopefully that was a good introduction. In the next episode, we're going to be talking about the, the parameters or the input for this event listener that we happen to call toggle because that's actually pretty important. So go check it out because you don't want to miss that one. We're going to be using that information throughout probably the rest of this entire series. So that one is definitely important. So please be sure to subscribe and check out that next episode. Peace out.